Nasrani juga loh Sejak kapan lu punya nyali? Sejak sekarang Hey guys, Star Arts Movie here with another exciting tutorial uh, Today we are going to be learning uh, on how to um, achieve a glide cam lookalike effect without using any glide cam <laughs> Today we are going to use uh, some effect from Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 called Warp Stabilizer uh, So, uh, if you saw my clip in the beginning of the video uh, that clip is actually from my previous video, The Weapon Hand, <laughs> if you guys know that. Um, uh, that uh, Lots of you guys guessing that that shot was using a glide cam. Well, today I'm gonna be telling you that nope, <laughs> I did not. I, I did not using any, I did not use any glide cam for that shot. Uh, instead, I used Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 and with an amazing effect called Warp Stabilizer. If you don't have uh, if you don't have Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, you can also find this effect in After Effects CS5.5. So let's just get started. We have Premiere Pro CS6 here already running, and then we have our clip right here. So just click and drag it to your Premiere Pro to import the video, and click and drag it to the composition here to create new composition. And, and as you can see, if we play this, this clip is actually really shaky, as you can see here, there, really shaky. No glide cam use at all. There you go. So, uh, all you gotta do is very easy and very quick. All you gotta do on the left side here, the search bar here, all you gotta do is type in warp. And you, uh, as you can see here on the video effects on this third folder, you're gonna find warp stabilizer. Uh, the amazing thing about warp stabilizer is it's actually a CUDA acceleration too. So, it will be really fast to. Uh, render if you have a uh, decent graphic cards so click and drag it to the video and all you gotta do is wait and the most amazing thing about the warp stabilizer is it's analyzing in the background so you can continue editing your other clips and etc while it's um, doing the process so all you gotta do is wait and I'm just gonna pause it and I'm gonna be back until it finished alright guys so as you can see here it already finished um so we're gonna play it look at that really really freaking smooth like you're using <laughs> like when you're using a glide cam or something so but there's one problem it it uh, uh for me this clip is uh too much zoom because uh to get rid of the shakiness the warp stabilizer actually kind of zoom in your video just a little bit but i think this is just too much for me so uh, the angle is it's kind of ruined the angle of the of the shot right here because it's just too much uh, zoom happening here so what I do is you're gonna go to the left side over here and you're gonna go to warp stabilizer effect on the effect controls and then uh, down here you're gonna find smoothness for me I'm just gonna change it to 10 because it's already very nice and it's gonna make your video uh, uh, not really on a very high zoom um, effect on the stabilizer effect so and the next thing is the advanced tab over here just open it up and then you're gonna see crop less I'm just gonna crop less change it to 10 from 50 oh not 100 10 and it will uh, fastly stabilizing and as you can see here it already fixed everything and I like this shot and as you can see here it's like I'm using a glide cam on this effect even though of course I'm not <laughs> you already see the result you already saw it all right guys so um, that's it that's it for today's tutorial and I hope you find it useful uh, it seems like a very simple tutorial but with this uh, effect tiny little effect you can make your um, uh, movies your video looks more professional and definitely looks more beautiful all right guys so my name is the one from star arts movie see you in the next cool videos and tutorials ciao